All right, thank you, Michael. Trending tonight, fallout from the rain. These long, thin worms appearing in Cape Coral after the rain over the weekend. They have a lot of people talking, trying to figure out exactly what they are. And when you talk, Four in Your Corner listens, so we made sure we got you the answer. That's right. Four in Your Corner Sam Sosa spoke with the family who shot that video and then took it to an expert to give us a more clear understanding of what we're looking at here. Sam? It was sprinkling outside when this family came out to their driveway and found it covered in these thin worms. They say they've never seen anything like it here before. Creepy, crawly, slimy worms invade a Cape Coral driveway. I would describe it as thousands of worms that were stuck in water and they were long and thin. Jen Maxwell tells me they were no fatter than a piece of spaghetti and as long as six inches. She and her mom caught them on video Saturday night after a rain shower. They were all right here because when it rains, um, it fills up this area with a lot of standing water. They tell me it's normal to see worms when their driveway floods, but they've never seen worms like this. I don't know. We, we just we, she soon, you know, put it on Cape Coral forum because she wanted to see if anyone else could figure out what it was. After posting the video online, their thread exploded with comments from curious minds speculating what these things are. We wanted to know too, so I got on the phone with entomologist and biology professor at FGCU, Dr. Joyce Fassbender, who solved the mystery. Well, it's a little difficult to tell from the video, but from what I can tell, it is likely horsehair worms. She tells me horsehair worms are aquatic worms, meaning they live in damp soil, puddles, or other bodies of fresh water, so they're commonly found after rain. They may look off-putting to some, but Dr. Fassbender says they're harmless to humans and pets, and they're actually good for the environment. They themselves are actually the a food source for other organisms that live in the soil. But in addition to that, they're parasitic in insects, so they destroy insects that can damage crops, like grasshoppers, and also ones that might invade your home, like roaches. So they actually help control insect populations. Dr. Fassbender says if you see them invading your area, you can just wash them away with your hose and they'll be fine. A lot of people on Jen's Facebook post suggested to kill the worms, but that's just not her style. You know, I'm not going to go and kill something that I don't know what it is just because I don't know what it is. I'm a firm believer in understanding what's in your environment and what you're around. You see any cool wildlife lately? Snap a pic and send it to our Facebook or our email, news at fox4now.com. We'd love to investigate what it is. In Cape Coral, Sam Sosa, Fox 4, in your corner.